In this video we're going to take a quick look at how to work the trig functions on your TI-30XA. Again with this calculator everything is somewhat clumsy and unintuitive. The key to the trig functions is you put in the angle first. So if you want sine 30 you type in 30 sine and not sine 30. So everything is backwards. So if you know your basic trig you should know that sine of 30 degrees is a half. So 30 and then you press sign and you get one half. Um, you've got above the sign functions, you've got your inverse sign. So, for example, if we have 0.5, type in 0.5 and then press second function and then the sign button. So, the second function activates the yellow text. So, inverse sign and this should come to 30 as it does. Um, you also have hyperbolic functions that are built into this calculator, um, hiding away. Um, you see it's hype there, so if you do 30, there you're getting a hyperbolic sign. Um, that's the hype button, you see that mode changes there. Um, finally, you have to know how this works. So we're currently in degrees. If we press this DRG button, we switch to radians, press it again, put us in gradients, press it one more time, and we're back to degrees. So when you're working with trig, keep an eye on what this is, otherwise you're likely to get somewhat confused. So that's a basic overview of the trig functions on your TI-30XA. Hopefully this has been helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.